Killer new guitar from Gretsch coming your way today it is the G5210P90, a new version of the Jet that they've released. We're coming at you with beautiful Cadillac green, so stick around. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. And I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas, and you can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and like our videos. If you'd like to support the channel, visit our Spring Store link below for custom swag, and check out our podcast, The Fretboard Confessional, uh, wherever you get your podcasts with new episodes. Episode 17 just launched uh, two weeks ago, so check it out. We've got more coming soon. That's our 17th? 17th episode, I know. I had to go like count. And go, is that like, real? Throw. Yeah. For real. We, can, we did like three. We can talk, man. So I love to talk. <laughs> I saw a TikTok once. It was like, uh, <clears throat> hey, you who always got marked up in class for talking too much, what do you do for a living now? I was like, oh, that was me. So this is what I do. <laughs> so, yeah, you know who else can talk? The Gretsch guys at the dealer event that oh, I was at, and uh, they talked quite a bit about all the new models. And I thought they were all pretty cool, but this is the one that I was really excited about. It's a killer looking guitar. It's very cool. We have done several videos in the past about how much we like the Electromatic Jet stuff, the underrated mm -hmm. single cut. Yeah. You know, the, I mean, it's just, it's a cool guitar, but I love one, the color, the pickups. I mean, it's just some a little different. They have a big, Bigsby version as well. This is just the normal guy. So the normal stay, stop tail stay version. Stay tuned for the Bigsby one. I really like the guitar. You know what we've said in the past is that I think the single cuts tend to be underrated. Um, they tend to be overlooked. Mm -hmm. um, and Gretsch is really, particularly with the Electromatic line, worked over the years to continue to improve them um, and really to improve. I think the way they are perceived because they kind of, in a way, suffer a little bit from the Epiphone stigma mm -hmm. of like, oh, I don't want to be seen as playing a cheaper Gibson. Oh, I don't want to be seen as playing a cheaper Gretsch. And so to combat that, they took Electromatic off yeah. the headstock, changed shape, they put it, like, like, you could barely read that it says Electromatic under Gretsch there. Um, but at the end of the day, they really are fantastic guitars. I think they're a huge value for the money. Yeah. The hardware that they give you is killer. Um, they play really well. It's got fantastic tones coming out of this guitar. A really nice setup, and it just looks fantastic. So let's break down the specs that are going on with this Jet 2 uh, mm -hmm. that it effectively is with these really nice creamy P90 pickups. And they're probably creamy and creamy. They're, cr they're creamy in, f in a few ways. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's got P90s in here. These are, I think they just call them the E, oh, you know, yeah. it's like the Electromag P90s. Um, this is a chambered mahogany body, with maple top, so there's halfway there with your Les Paul single cut, let's not even say Les Paul, your classic single cut electric guitar tone. Yeah, um, careful, <laughs> yeah. someone might sue you. Look out. Um, <laughs> but you know, the, the cool thing with the Gretsch is that master yes. volume right there, um, which is cool, but you know, it's a very simple guitar. What'd you say, 24.6? It, yeah, scale. so it, it meets a lot of classic single cut specs. So 24.6 inch scale length, 12 inch radius, flatter radius than you typically have on like a Fender, more in line with what you'd see from Gibson. They've mm -hmm. done 10 and 12, but usually like a classic Les Paul's 12 inches. Um, not as flat as you'd see on a lot of, uh, you know, like an Ibanez is 15 or 16. So kind of gives you an idea of, of where it fits feel wise. Yeah, um, I will also say that Usually when we're looking at guitars within this price range, this one right now goes for five ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Always gonna change, so in two months it's gonna be twelve hundred dollars. But <laughs> buy um, now. Five ninety nine right now. Typically whenever Chris and I look at guitars in this price range, the telltale signs are how good's the setup, how good's the fret work, and how is it to tune. Yeah. You know, how are the tuning machines? Um, and a lot of times it's easy to make a guitar look cool. Like any import guitar can look really you know you say that i mean I some think companies make some goofy looking sometimes guitars. they make goofy ones but like <laughs> making a guitar look like this that's the easy part but having it come out of the box so be set up yeah. really well absolutely no scratchy fret stuff and it tuned up perfectly and the yeah. intonation was great that's a good sign for a quality guitar and i do think that typically all the gretsch stuff i mean we've played plenty of single cuts semi-hollows, hollow bodies. That's kind of where I think 
they're underrated a little bit is because usually the setup is really solid, the yeah. manufacturing is good, um, as opposed to other imported single cut guitar brands, it's kind of a big QC range. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, this one came out playing great, very impressed with the P90s. We obviously like P90s a lot, we've done videos on that as well. It's as thick a tone as you can get from single coil pickups. It's just warm and mellow, but also bite really well, especially when it goes to that bridge pickup. So yeah, I'm digging it. It's like having a humbucker without the humbucked yeah. and with all the highs intact. Yeah. You know, it's kind of what a P90 is, yeah. It's, it's really nice. Um, and it does come in a few different colors. I picked um, this one because I like Cadillac green the best. I think this is the sharpest All it color. needs is, you know, a red plush interior and some long, uh, long horn. That's what I'm talking about. And maybe you hood. can get something like that in a case, because it doesn't come with the case. So you can pick whatever kind of plush interior you want when you get your separate case. But that's par for the course for a $600 guitar. Well, let's take a listen to it, and then I'll talk about a few other things that I think are beneficial on this guitar on the other side. Let's check it out. So there you have it. It's a great sounding guitar. The playability set up right out of the box is really fantastic. It's got good looks to it. Um, there's a thing that I really like on these Gretches about the hardware. Um, and this is something, and I think you'll identify with this. If you play enough, you know, you play gigs, you play at coffee shops, whatever, if you gig with your stuff, there's certain little things that can be nagging Mm -hmm. One of the problems that I have with electric guitars sometimes is with, with just some of the hardware, even on expensive guitars. Yeah. It's just a press-on volume knob and tone knob, and if you have trouble, oh well, you're just out yeah. of luck. Um, and so I really appreciate when a guitar has good hardware. Um, so I like that these basically come with strap locks, because I end up putting strap locks on all my guitars anyway. Mm -hmm. But if you're not familiar, these are... Um, knurled and threaded on strap buttons so you can unthread them and you can put your strap on and then thread them back on and effectively you have a strap lock because it's not coming off. This new version, I really like the wrap around mm -hmm. uh, bridge because on the previous versions, it was a stop tail with a bridge. Like the v kind of yeah, thing. or it was a, yeah, the V style. I like this. It's a wrap around, which I dig, and it's adjustable. Mm -hmm. So you're not losing out on anything. So if you're going to be changing string gauge and, and whatnot, 
Uh, you can do that on this guitar and adjust the intonation as needed. Um, we've talked a lot about the aesthetics. I think the cream uh, P90s with this color is like the killer one. But going back to the hardware and just the setup on this, you've got your two volumes in tone and then a master volume. Mm -hmm. And this is, I really like this. I use my volume a lot. And the one trouble I always have is like on a Les Paul, I own a Les Paul. Um, if you are in the middle position, doing a swell or really playing with back and forth with volume, get, it gets a little yeah. dicey. You know, most people just accomplish that with a pedal. But that changes things too without getting too nerdy about things. So I like having this on the guitar. I think it's nice to in the position that it has it in. Mm -hmm. uh, but you're able to kind of set up in that middle position a blend and still be able to swell, which is really fantastic. And all these knobs are not press on. They are put on with a set screw mm -hmm. that you can adjust and lock in place. And if yeah. you ever need to take them off, it's an easy affair. And when you put them back on, they haven't been worn out. And they're metal. They're not plastic. They're just... Yeah. It, it, it's really, it's at a lower price, has some premium features that like, it's kind of like, if you know, you know, you'll appreciate that. Yeah, I agree. It's definitely built to be played by somebody that's gonna be using it. Like all those features have that in mind. Something mm -hmm. that's gonna last a little bit longer, something that is like practical use for a performance instead of just being extra knobs. Mm -hmm. Jazz master. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's cool. Yeah, so fantastic guitar. Um, a number of, there's four different color options on mm -hmm. this particular setup with the stop tail. So we've got a single bar bar barrel burst. Yeah, something like that. Um, this, a blue, it's mm -hmm. a really fantastic like opal style blue. And then mm -hmm. what's the creamy colored one called? Creamy color. Cre I think it's, it's like it's a creamy, creamy white. Yeah, the creamy white is the one that I, I'm also excited for. We're getting that one with the Bigsby. It's gonna be very cool. Yeah. So very cool guitar, new from Gratch, who just continues to conti uh, to iterate improvements onto the Jet. And you know, if we keep uh, evangelizing enough about this guitar, maybe it'll stop being the underappreciated single cut that's out there in the guitar market, and you guys will finally realize how cool of a guitar this is. Fast forward a year, <laughs> the most overrated the single cut. <laughs> <laughs> No, absolutely yeah. fantastic guitar. So if you want more information about this guitar, you want to purchase this guitar, you should go to our website, which Alamo is... AlamoMusic.com. Yeah, there you go. I, I saw you prepping. It was like it was loaded in there. <laughs> yep, and you can chat with people uh, on there. You can get specifics from our associates uh, about any of the guitars that we have in stock and find the right one to suit your needs. Because at the end of the day, the best guitar in the world is the one that is Cadillac green and matches your vintage Cadillac that has a red plush interior and long horns on the hood. Because that's how we do it in Texas. That's what I'm talking about. You need, a, you need a car like that. Yeah. It would suit you very well. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications and like our videos and keep coming back for more. We'll see you next time. Thank you.